Hello, good morning farmers. Uh, today, um, this is Joshua Mwetomwega. So, we are requesting you to subscribe to our channel. Um, just click a subscription box there. You subscribe so that you can be viewing more videos every time we post or we upload a new video. So, today we are going to talk about uh, mating ratio. Uh, sometimes a farmer can ask a, a question like how many females do I need for one uh, bag? So, uh, and uh, this ratio whereby a bag can save a certain number, we call it a mating ratio. Meaning, uh, if you have one goat, one bag, you know the number of uh, she goats he can save or he can mate during the mating period of 42 days. So, as you can see, one male, one matured uh, boa male, boa goat, it can save about 25 or 30 uh, females these are local gods so uh, when you do this you ensure that any god which goes on hit a boy or a bag will be led to save to our to attend to one of them each night he can save two or three so you have more time to to relax and also grow build so that is what we do mating ratio is very important sometimes you don't need to put more more females over one male because the male will be overused and as a result will not have good body conformation so if you look at at our male there or the back He's looking very nice and very well built. So, a, a bag is a male goat. Though some, in a simpler term, they call is a he goat. Then, a female goat is called a do. So, some they call it she goat. So, this is how we, we do farming or mating ratio. It's very, very, very important. You need to understand the mating ratio so that you can avoid the uh, overusing of the the bag thank you this is how we, we thought to share with you this morning lovely 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 don't forget to subscribe again to our channel